Last since a grueling title defeat against Dazza Williams for Roy Rutherford, but good to have him back. And with serious designs, as we've heard. And what of young kid Corcoran? Never beyond six rounds before this test tonight. But a good amateur pedigree. Now we'd find out much more. So, Coventry's returning Roy Rutherford, now 32, but with British title knowledge aplenty. And Wembley's energetic, yet untested Billy Corker, in eight years younger, and looking for the stepping stone up. 50-50 pick -em, or do you lean one way or the other? Well, not ideal preparation uh, for Rutherford out of the ring so long. Uh, Corker and the, the fighter on the way up to uh, Rutherford maybe just slightly past his best on the way down, so maybe slightly lean towards Corcoran, but uh, experience could be a big factor here. Decent start from Corcoran, unloading his punches early on here. Could be rusty, Rutherford. Yeah, Rutherford is a thinking fighter, so he usually likes a round or so just to plan things, think things out, and then get down to work. But uh, Corcoran is going to force them to work quicker than he likes. The physical strength, the bigger man in there, probably Corcoran. Rutherford held the British title at featherweight, and this is at nine stone four. I think Rutherford will be looking to land a couple of solid shots, and that was one there. Just maybe dent the enthusiasm of Corker in early, if he can manage that. It's the jab of Rutherford, honed in the amateurs. English ABA champion, having switched from the martial arts. Certainly got the technical ability if he's got the legs now in his 30s. Stop balance there. Yep, some of the uh, Rutherford's moves, you know, head movements and so forth, just a little bit slow looking. You're probably warm to the task as this goes, but they're uh, not just as sharp as it needs to be in the opening round here. Frustrated with inactivity. Always a consummate trainer, Roy Rutherford, but admitted that he did have times out of the gym, wondering where the next fight was coming. Well, here it is, and he's got to perform as Corcoran starts very solidly. Round one to freshness. Yeah, I've just been that little bit busy at Corkin. Good start. Didn't do anything particularly clever, but uh, good work. Great relax. Here's the second round. Terry O'Connor just uh, wants the water and grease off the head of Billy Corcoran. The challenger tonight for Roy Rutherford's English Super Featherweight title. First defence of a crown he uh, won when he beat Steve Chinnock last year. And he can start slowly, Rutherford. Yeah, well, uh, thinking fighters usually do. They like to warm to the task, think things out, find out what's going on. That's a good left hook working well. See, Corcoran, as I say, just a little bit predictable at times. He walks straight in, there's no head movement. And he moves into punching range and takes too long to get his punches off sometimes. That's better. Very good. Uppercut combination from Corcoran, who has not been let off the leash until now. Very much uh, applying his tools on the journeyman of the trade. This is the big one for him so far. And he has to be the one setting the pace, doesn't want the, want the experience, rather for slowing things down, dictating the tempo. Oh, great work from Billy Corcoran, and Roy Rutherford goes down in the second round, and he 
his legs look shaky. Rutherford is badly shaken here. Eyes are back in a glassy look. Couple of clean shots can see the ending here. He has recovered from knockdowns before Rutherford, showing plenty of heart. But at 32, has the punch that Corcoran landed taken more of an effect? And there are no snap in Rutherford's punches here. His balance is gone. So Corcoran can afford to throw caution to the wind and go for broke here. Still stunned looking. Not noted as a, a huge puncher, Corcoran. Only four stoppages inside the distance, but what another one this would be. Can Rutherford get through? And I think those two knockdown punches have taken a lot out of Roy Rutherford. Just as I was saying in the previous round, his head movements were just a little bit slow, and he was caught flush as he walked forward there. And Corcoran planting quality punches as a focused look on the face of the Irish traveller now based in Wembley with those eight boxing brothers at ringside all cheering him on but back comes Rutherford well he settled down again Corker and he didn't actually go for broke so maybe he's thinking about the ten rounds he's thinking about an experienced pro in front of them not doing anything silly Weathered the storm, Corcoran applying the pressure on those ropes, but he's going to get through the second round. The Coventry man, although his legs still look a little weak. What's Tommy Lynch going right. to say? You've got to keep your hands up. Okay. And you're swinging your hands, punch straight, right? <sighs> the only thing I want you to bend is the left hook. Have you got that? Put that in the back of his Put that in the back of his Put cross on its own. Left, right, left. He just walks through onto those two knockdown punches, and I think they've taken an awful lot out of him. He was still badly stunned when he got up. See, so walking straight forward, no defence. I mean, that, that was like a novice move from a man of his experience, and he paid the full price for that. Walking straight on, both punches. Two lovely punches from young Corcoran. Hands up, jab. Everything after jab. Hands right, off the jab. Don't throw right on his own again. No okay. swinging right hands. Left, right, left, top. You got that? Okay. Hands up, left, right, left, top. And step back, you know, step back. Here's the third mini crisis for Roy Rutherford. Early on, floored fairly heavily in the second by Billy Corcoran. Can he get his boxing back together? Is the sharpness still there? The slick moves. Well, it's a sharpness that's been missing in his boxing in the first couple of rounds. And it was exaggerated, obviously, by the knockdown. McHennessy, Billy Corcoran's promoter, took the gamble that Roy Rutherford might just be on the slide. And this time out of the ring could prove costly. See, the trouble I'll lay off at this stage in your career, you can get yourself fit in five or six weeks, but you can't build the stamina, and that maybe was lacking tonight. He's actually boxing well here in the third round. He's keeping a Corcoran at arm's length. But I wonder, if this goes to the later stages, will the stamina be there? Caught again cleanly. It's a pretty experienced 12-round fighter, Roy Rutherford, but it was a gruelling war he had down in Hereford with Dazzo Williams in June 2004, and that was his last fight. See, again, Corcoran moves into range, but takes too long to get the punches off. This is better, but sharper here. Confident talk this week from Billy the Kid Corcoran, saying he just... Although respected Rutherford felt he was there for the taking and a huge right hand and has a confident look and feel about the way that he's boxing. In the first minute and a half he has allowed uh, Rutherford to control the tempo. But now he's stepping up, this is what he has to do, he has to really set the pace. Getting behind that jab. Well, he hasn't 
closed himself in this round the way I thought he would have after the excellent second round. His form has dipped a little bit and he's allowing Rutherford back into this. Block that one from Rutherford. Well, Corcoran. But beginning to just get some of those old moves back. The Coventry man. See, he's been allowed to work at his own pace for a lot of this round. Much more comfortable. And Corcoran's been walking onto that jab. Good body shots from Corcoran at the end of this third session. <laughs> the boxing Ooh. brothers, the Corcorans. I think one was in the uh, divisional finals of the uh, ABA tournament this week. Don't know how good they are, we'll wait and see. All from Galway, now based in uh, a caravan park in Wembley, supporting brother Billy, the 24-year-old in fight number 14. He's in the yellow and blue trunks, going for his uh, first little title here against Roy Rutherford. Started pretty well, though, Corcoran. Yeah, he started very well, but he just wants to raise the tempo, as he's doing here. He wants to draw Rutherford into to more of a walk. See, he's, again, he, he has a bad habit of moving into range, but not throwing anything. He was picked off a couple of times there. There he goes again. The long arms of Rutherford. Starting to work again. He's going to have to learn to punch as he moves forward. He's moving forward, but thinking too long. And then beaten to the punch. Rutherford planting body shots in. There's some blood there. Little mark on the forehead of Corcoran. And Rutherford dabs at his right eye. Rutherford still being allowed to box at a smooth pace. I wonder if lack of experience becoming a problem for young Corcoran. Getting his boxing together, Roy Rutherford, although there is a nick by the right eye. Good competitive action here in the fourth. I mean, you get the impression that Corkham can't take over whenever he feels like it, but he's just not going about it properly. He has to raise the pace, still allowing Rutherford to box at a comfortable pace. That was better. Combinations can squeak through from Corcoran. Head movement from Rutherford, maybe not what it was, and body work as well. This is good from Corcoran at a pace, work rate. Yeah, this is an impressive last minute. This is the pace he should be boxing at. Just stay on top of Rutherford and keep the punches flowing. Rutherford gasping there for breath. Good body shot there. Bigger physically, and maybe at this stage, bigger in desire too. Right hand from Corcoran. Bad spell again for Rutherford. Backed up on the ropes. Nothing coming back. He's got a hold. So this is what he must do. But he must do a little bit early in the round. He's left it too late. But certainly in the last minute, turned that round all the way around. Trouble for Rutherford. Well, I think I should pull you out. Well. He's oh, going to put him out. Eh? I think I should pull you out. Well. No. Listen what to do you this. Think? It's running in your eye. Oh no. What? What do you think? What? No. I think. I think we pull him out. Okay, look, we pull him out. I think we pull him out. Oh no. no. The bad yeah. cuts is slightly across. It's better. It's better than this. It's a bad cut. Because I can see this. things going against the man. It's his compassionate right. corner work. I don't you get it? Yeah, Tommy Lynch is going to pull Roy oh, Rutherford out. Oh, they used the excuse of the cut eye, and uh, he didn't show too much in the way 
of a big complaint, but that is a big win for Billy Corcoran, who becomes the English super featherweight champion. He floored Rutherford in the second. He just seemed to have a bit more in terms of ambition and desire, and a good win. Yeah, and you can see Corcoran finishing all of the rounds that little bit stronger. You can see what the, the way the fight was going. Rutherford was keeping himself in the fight, he was boxing well, but he was always struggling to keep himself in it, and it turned badly against him in the last minute here. I mean, you can see Corkin really took over, and every clean punch was having a visible effect on Rutherford, and I think that's what worried his corner, the fact that every time he was caught cleanly, he was beginning to start sag, and he wasn't coming back with snappy punches. I think it was a wise decision to get him out of there. And they know Roy Rutherford better than anyone. I mean, they've worked together closely, they sensed it, and they were compassionate. Yeah, and at 32 years of age, you don't want to be out of the ring for 16 months. They could see it wasn't firing all cylinders the way they hoped. And uh, they, they did the right thing. Former British champion. Scalp for Billy Corcoran. Terrific victory here in Bethnal Green.